my video and today I'm going to be building the International Space Station. Oh, gadget! Before I start building this masterpiece, I wanted you guys to know something a little bit more about the International Space Station. This space station is the biggest one yet. It is large like a football field for real players. And it's, it's 400 kilometers in orbit and it, it travels 27,000 kilometers in, in an hour and 60 in a day it passes Earth a full orbit of six, 16 times and at, at the end it, it, it passes at the end of the day it passes over 600,000 kilometers the gravity here on the space station and, the, and in the, on the Earth is almost the same. The only reason why uh, the astronauts here inside here are falling because the space station is always free falling. It's falling down on Earth at a massive speed, but nobody noticed that. Noticed that. But it has a special engine because it, when it orbits the Earth, it's always a little bit more down. And it has a little special engine that squirts out a little bit of gas, just a little bit, on many sides. And that, that is enough to push it back up in space. And then again, and then it's, it's looping always. I will tell you more about the space station when I'm building the parts so you can know the parts and the components but first before we can start building we need to sort the blocks by colors so I got a little magic off my screen sleeve guys and look at this three two one oh, there we go all right welcome to the international space station there's a tour. We're starting right now in Columbus. And if you look on this little iPad right here, there's a picture of the station. And right here, that's Columbus. So we're on the starboard side kind of front area. And that module right there, that's where we're in right now. But just European, we also have uh, NASA racks in here. NASA payloads in here too at the same time. I am now making a little holder for the whole space station, which is just the beginning. So, it's cool. Finding the pieces right now. I've finished building the the holder and his main feature is just to hold the space station really good so it doesn't doesn't fall and anything so it's a cool concept and it has a little international space station here which is really cool now is the most important part of them all the truss or the backbone of the whole space station it holds all the solar races and the whole space station it's really it's really cool it holds it in and inside here it holds a lot of batteries it holds a lot of batteries because when uh, when when the whole space station is on the other side of earth where there's no light where's the no where's there no sun then uh, then the batteries charge the whole the whole space station but when when it's in front of the sun then the solar race does it let's start building
I'm almost done with the truss. And the cool part is you can see where you're supposed to stick in the other parts. You have little components in here so you can stick this on the panels or the this this is called a cupola the only model with windows done do you like it guys trust Let's start with the modules. This is a node and it's used to connect other conduits to it. Like this. This is this is the that this node that I'm making. And it is the European laboratory and this is the Japanese. The Japanese part is done. The, it's this module, the science module is called Kibo, this part. Next part is the European laboratory. The note 2 is done. I built the European laboratory and that's all. Look who else is building the space station. Adam Savage from the Mythbusters. We can't let him beat me to it to build it. Brushing your hair is in, in space impossible because there's no up and down or left and right. It only goes in one direction. It doesn't really help, even if you do it. finished this part uh, this part is the de destiny it's called the de destiny laboratory and here is where where the russian parts are gonna start coming i just only started and it's gonna be a long way to the end now i'm going to be attaching the cupola and the Leonardo laboratory Boom. These are all the Russian parts. There are two labs, Zarya and Zvezda. And here is the docking part for Soyuz. The launching dragon. This cargo is now just for for things and food and water, but next month it's gonna and it's gonna do humans. Second one. 
this is much more small than oh my god it's big that's actually pretty big <laughs> Done! Almost done with the whole thing. This is the Soyuz launching. It's supposed to, the Soyuz will land on this place. Right here. Where the Russian part is. Almost done! I don't know how they're called. Whole thing. And. Done. Yeah! It's, it's so cool! Look at it! Listen a bit to Carl Hagen's blue dot of fish. His most famous quote. Also, uh, one of my friends told me, uh, Andre from Croatia, for, uh, reminded me of of a video that I should have posted a long time ago. It's about uh, shout out to you guys and it's I, I got busy with school and I couldn't I'm sorry I couldn't publish it. I completely forgot about it. So click here if you want to see um, My friends and who helped me with this channel and I'll link down below their channels and make sure to check them out so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was an awesome Lego build, one of the biggest ones I ever built. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!